Now then, welcome back. Yeah, got another project on. I know I said I was gonna do that thumb stick with the magnetic ferrule on end for my mate, but uh, he's not ready for it yet. So I'm gonna be working on this yarn. Get it out. I'll start it today, but I don't know how long this project will last. Probably a while. So I'm really gonna take my time. So yeah, it's got this nice chunky knob here. What I'm gonna do is potentially I want to make like a, a one-piece crook it's like a leg cleek style you know it's quite tight in yes yeah, so I'll see if I can whittle that down the actual shank itself it's fairly fairly straight except for about there you can see but it bottom they get I don't know why I like but pretty good at finding six with dog legs so there's a bit of a dog leg there so I'll cut that off and yeah just a little straighten up there yeah, make a good stick this. Yeah. But yeah, if all else fails when I'm shaping crook. And a little stretch there, Poppy, yeah? Yeah, if I mess up while doing the crook, I'll just turn it into a good knob stick. But yeah, this is the right chunky one, this. This is it's a nice strong stick, this. So yeah, a little bit of straightening. And then we'll just get straight to working. All right, yep, here we go. I've straightened it out. Cut the dog leg out. And there you go. Cut off. It's proper, perfect size. And I uh, started working on it. The first thing I did was I just did a basic, just rough sketch. And um, I did look, you know, when you inspect it, I'm like, oh. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but not ah, yet. Yeah, it's a. I don't know if it's a hole, so like I don't know if it's an insect or if it's natural, just a defect in the wood as it's been growing. And then when I cut the first bit off, I could just see, I presume it's either an insect or some sort of disease, what's on straight in the middle. So I cut the top off, it was still there, cut the side off. So yeah, my initial plan was to make like a crook, crook. Leg cleek style, you know what I mean? But I don't think it's gonna work, so I could, you can't really see, like, but it's, um, yeah, it's quite a big hoil, and that uh, pretty uh, big, but yeah, that's my new plan, I think. And there, I've took a little bit more off. Well, I say a little bit, it's took loads off for like natural sort of knob handle and we'll just find down there see how much cut off the top I believe some bacteria disease or an insect or maybe like a bird I don't know pecking at it it's something's got in and yeah, I think that will go all the way through there. But I expect if you had something like this, it would be a perfect opportunity to holler it out, wouldn't it? And fill it full of lead. Then you order a right, right proper weapon then. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'll do that, because that might be a class and offensive weapon here in the UK. Oh well, yeah, it'll be a... Nice stick this. I'll keep it like that. Yeah. It's not bad. And yeah, as you can see, I've worked on it a bit more. Let's put that down there. So I think crack was pretty deep. I'll take the top, let's see if we get inside. Yeah, there's quite a decent hollering there. If you do know what what made that happen, just leave a comment. I'm curious to know now. But yeah, I've slowly been working the knob handle bit there. Got a little bit more to go to get it fully rounded as such. But yeah, we'll make a nice, nice shillelagh type stick. This it's chunky and sturdy as well. But if I was to make 
a shillelagh for a proper fight. I'd probably leave it like this because it's got a bit of a hard edge. I just imagine that would have inflict a bit more damage, but yeah, we're not in them days, so I'll make it look pretty. All right, yep, yeah, there we go. Would make such a good, like, loaded walking stick shillelagh with that natural, natural uh, crevice. Still don't know where it's from, but yeah, all I've done is uh, cut a bit, of, cut a couple of bits of scrap hazel and uh, hammered them into place slightly as such. And then just cut off the excess just i know on here i pushed it to its limits a bit too much and made it crack a little bit but yeah i'm so impressed like that would be like the perfect example for a loaded loaded uh shillelagh but yeah what i'm gonna do now is uh get on sanding filing it all down yeah i cleaned out sh the old shed a bit so a bit more workspace but yeah, yeah, here we are. Filed it down, it's getting a bit light. Filed it down, sanded it. It's well, nice stick. Yeah, it would be such an impressive. I know I bang on about it, but yeah, I loaded. Loaded knob stick, you mean? Right beast. But yeah, now I've just got to varnish it, give it a clean up. But ah, yeah. So right, here we are. I've um, I said on the last video, ferrules on. Um, and uh, oh yeah, there's the. Uh, finished this it's six in the morning i'm just uh, filming this before i go to work so it's still dark outside but we'll see might be better yeah look so yeah i'll give it a couple coats of varnish come out all right yeah it's a good solid stick this proper loaded Lately. Ah, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out, and it is much appreciated. And yeah, don't forget to check the coffee link down below if you want to help support the channel. Ah, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs>